LOL, Hillary supporters unleash crying fits of rage exactly one year after losing election to Trump. Today is a cause for big celebration. One year ago, against all odds, we the people, the despised deplorables of America, elected Donald J. Trump as President of the United States. Election night for many of us was a very somber experience. We waited with bated breath as the numbers rolled in on election night, with the nagging little voice in the back of our heads telling us what we had heard repeated for weeks, that crooked Hillary would win. Once Hillary stole the primary from Bernie Sanders, her propaganda campaign kicked into high gear. Polls around the country began lying to the American people, predicting that Hillary would win by a landslide. Even on conservative media outlets like Fox News the message being spewed was very bleak, where well-known pundits were echoing the dreary prediction of the left that there was no way that Donald Trump could win. We endured weeks of negativity on both sides, with anti-Trump morons like Megyn Kelly talking endless crap about Trump, while discouraging Americans to vote for him. But something just wasn't adding up. We could feel it in our gut. No matter where President Trump went, Literally miles of crowds would gather, as anxious Americans hoped for the chance to get inside the venue and listen to Trump's rally speeches, where he brought the incredible message of putting America first and making America great again. Here's a few images of Trump's rallies, where it was always a packed house. A movement began sweeping the nation, as ordinary Americans, furious at being lied to again and again by establishment politicians, began getting increasingly fired up. Realizing that yes, we the people can take our country back from tyrants, and put America back onto the path of prosperity and greatness. While the liberal media tried desperately to downplay the massive crowds of conservative red blooded Americans gathering wherever Trump would rally, they were busy continuing to spin the false narrative that Hillary would win by a landslide. The liberal media, desperate to sell the narrative that Hillary was wildly more popular over Trump, began photoshopping images to make it appear that Hillary's rallies were much larger than they actually were. The liberal propaganda was so blatant, it's hard to believe why liberals would continue to tune into CNN and MSNBC, knowing full well that they were being constantly lied to by these leftist talking heads. With the liberal media's perpetual ass-kissing, Hillary's ego grew out of control. She took to Twitter weeks before election night on her birthday congratulating the future president of the United States, herself, on turning a year older. Hillary was so cocky she had the election in the bag, that she went ahead and purchased fireworks, a dazzling display of aerial shells that were scheduled to light up the night sky above the Hudson River, ushering in the first woman president with their colorful splendor. But poor Hillary would later have to cancel her fireworks show, much to her bitter disappointment. Hillary's staff even purchased large cases of champagne backstage, and began popping bottles early into election night, already celebrating what they thought would be Hillary Clinton's landslide victory that the liberal media had promised them for weeks. Hillary didn't even bother to write a concession speech, as she was so certain she's win through rigging the election with her massive voter fraud. But as the ballot numbers began coming in from across the country, liberal joy would soon be transformed into tearful mourning. As the unbelievable news of Trump's impending win began to circulate, the liberal snowflake was officially born. Hilarious pictures of Hillary supporters began to pop up all over social media, as distraught libtards began curling up in fetal positions while violently weeping over the news their crooked queen would not be the next president of the United States. Hillary Clinton took the news just about as well as her supporters. After losing on election night, she immediately went into hiding, where we'd hear horrifying stories weeks later by members of her staff how she went into a violent rage, hurling objects at her staff while screaming that her loss was all their fault. She screamed obscenities, punched furniture and threw things at staff, Secret Service officers told the news site source. Hillary would go into her cave for weeks following Trump's win, drowning her sorrows in massive amounts of alcohol, where it's reported that she knocked back quite a bit of Xanax as well. As the liberal snowflake was born, the deplorables, who Hillary mocked and put down for weeks on the campaign trail, went into full celebration mode. Many of us experienced a vast plethora of emotions, from shock, 
to joy, to even getting on our knees thanking God for bringing us a true election night miracle. Here's a hilarious video where you can relive the stunning results of election night in under two minutes. One year ago, we did it, America. Now to fight goes on, as bad hurt liberals now continue to do everything in their power through the influence of their fake news, to invent a scandal that will end in the impeachment of President Trump. More than ever we need to support our president, as he continues to fight to uphold his promise to make America great again. Again.